If you're watching this video, you might fall in one of the three following categories. One, you're a football shirt collector. Two, you're really into football and you might want to start your own football shirt collection. Number three, you really like football, but you don't really care about football shirts. In this video, I'm going to discuss five legit reasons to start a football shirt collection. I'm a football shirt collector myself. It's kind of obvious and it's one of the best decisions I've made in my life because I'm really enjoying it. So this video might help you decide whether you want to start your own collection or not. And for the people that are not really into football shirts, this video might change your mind. You never know. You know, I just want to keep my intros as short as possible. So let's get into the video. Reason number one, football shirts will give you memories of a specific team, match or player. If I tell you that time is flying, you probably agree with me. And sometimes it feels like yesterday when we were talking about that legendary game. But in fact, that game was like eight seasons ago. In the case you're a football fan, it's just very cool to have a shirt that reminds you of that specific game. I'm going to give you a personal example of a shirt that reminds me of a specific player at a specific club. Over here, I got the Juventus 1516 away shirt, definitely one of my favorite shirts. Besides its unique design, I'm a big fan of the player on the back, Odo Dybala. The 15-16 season was his first season at Juventus. He still played with number 21 and later on he changed to number 10. During this season, he was part of a very dynamic duo with Paul Pogba. I mean, I still remember them celebrating goals together and doing dances and stuff like that. And you know, 2015 is already eight years ago. It was a time I was in high school and I started collecting football shirts. And whenever I look at this shirt, I get a feeling of nostalgia. Like those good old days all old men are talking about. We're the old men. And you know, that's just a personal example. But let's say your hometown team won the league like 10 years ago. In that case, it's really cool to have the shirt in which they won the league, for example, because you'll always associate a positive feeling to that specific shirt. Man, this story is becoming way more psychological than I thought. We're getting back to the main topic. Football shirts you got nice memories of will definitely be nostalgic for you in the future. Reason number two, football shirts are a very good investment. Yes, you're that right. Football shirts are a very good investment. If you want to know more about the best way to invest in football shirts, I made a video about it click over here. But believe me, people will always be looking for football shirts, especially shirts from bigger clubs and famous players. I'm going to give you an actual example. If you manage to get your hands on a Napoli shirt from this season, so the 22-23 season, I'm sure it will increase in value over time because they won the Serie A this season. They won their first Serie A title in 33 years, which is a very long time. Both football shirt collectors and Napoli fans who couldn't buy this season's shirts will be after these shirts. Or how about the purple Real Madrid shirt Ronaldo won the Champions League in, in 2017? That's only six years ago, or well, only. But believe me, that's an example of a shirt that's very hard to find nowadays. Just remember this, the lower the availability for a specific shirt is, the higher its price is gonna be. Reason number three, you always got something to wear. And yes, guys, I know I told you in one of my previous videos that you should preferably not wear your shirts at all. But if you're aware of the risks and if you know what you're doing, you can wear them. And I gotta admit it, some shirts are just too beautiful to never wear. I mean, you can wear them when going to the gym, when playing football, when going for a run. You could even wear them casually. And I think that's kind of cool. I remember a few years ago, I saw someone in the club with a pink Real Madrid shirt. It really surprised me, but I was like, yeah, why not? Now, some shirts are just perfect to wear casually like this FC Barcelona 2021 away shirt. It's an all black shirt with some golden details and I think that makes it perfect to wear casually. Or how about the Paris Saint-Germain Jordan collection? The cool thing is that there are so many different football shirts that I'm sure that you'll find some that you love to wear casually. But yeah, then again, make sure that you keep them in good condition. Reason number four, and I gotta tell you, this is my opinion, a football shirt is the best item to get signed. I mean, you can get autographs, um, balls, caps, scarves, and so on and so forth, but nothing beats a nice signature on a football shirt. For example, if I got this signature on an image of this player, 
it wouldn't be as appealing to me. But if you get it on a shirt, it's a bit more personal as well, actually. And of course, signed shirts are worth more than autographs on other items. I'm sure if, for example, Lionel Messi offered you one match worth item and you could choose between his socks, his shorts, or a shirt, we would all go for the shirt, right? I really believe a shirt is the nicest piece of merchandise we can get as football fans. Because you literally own a shirt that kind of looks like the shirt the player wears on the pitch. And if you manage to get that shirt signed, you'll be way happier. I mean, a football shirt is the most visible piece of merchandise a player wears on the pitch. And hey, don't get me wrong, if you can get match-worn cleats and get them signed, that's amazing as well, but nothing will be a signed shirt in my opinion. And the fifth and last reason, and this is kind of applicable to any collection, but a collection never ends and it just keeps you busy. And when it comes to a football shirt collection, just remember this, new shirts are released every single season. Players might make a transfer to another team and almost every club releases multiple kits every season. And I also think that's a fun element of a football shirt collection because your collection will never be complete. Believe me, you'll always aim for more or you want a specific player from when he played at a specific club. For example, when he made his debut at, I don't know, Everton or when he scored a hat-trick in a Champions League game. There are so many reasons to keep collecting more and more football shirts. I mean, I got about 250 football shirts right now. That's kind of a lot, right? And you know what? If you actually buy one specific shirt, that specific shirt will actually lead you to buy another shirt and this can be a completely random shirt you never thought of buying but that's kind of how it works or when you're watching a football game and you actually realize wow this team's got such a nice kit i'm gonna buy it i think all right those were the five reasons i wanted to discuss with you guys and remember that i'm not trying to convince you to start your own football shirt collection but i would definitely recommend it to you and to be honest i'm kind of biased Yes, I know, but seriously, it's a very cool hobby. So if you're still watching this video, I want to say you thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.